Hi hey guys, welcome. So we are in week three, round one, and uh, today's match is going to be a rematch against our commander. Um, I faced him last uh, week, and I managed to beat him. Um, yeah, you guys can pause the video to check his uh, data crowns. Obviously, he's a really good player. He's from Mo One, and he managed to one shot me. Um, I changed my defense like completely. Um, I said Dash, um, Ray, JMK, and Lord Vader with the uh, Inquisitors on down south. Um, he one shotted everything um, for high ban uh, for low banners actually. Most of them were around 52 ish, 52, 53. Um, so um, I had some room for arrow. I mean, he obviously he scored 17.51, but his defense is really tough. Um, up top, I uh, said Django, lead, Bondi Hunters, DR, with Malak, Starkiller, and um, Sorty, and she managed to get the hold. I mean, obviously, as you guys can see, yeah, I went really hard on defense. Um, down south, um, gas, uh, left or right inquisitors, and uh, Kira lead um, scoundrels. Um, as for uh, the ships, he failed once against my uh, executor and he managed to one shot the rest of them so yeah as i said his score is uh, his score was uh, 1751 which was beatable um but uh, yeah look at his defense so he said down Django lead uh, bounty hunter to sweet zamomicon um cls leftover cls <coughs> And then Inquisitors with 11.9 uh, data crown, which is really nasty. And, and then also Mon Mothma. Yeah, that's the one that uh, is the loop, like the turn meter loop. You can just you can just get around it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, down south. He said, um, Dash with Cat and Han and Chewie, um, Aiden, um, GML, and uh, Lord Vader. So that's that's a really nasty de um, defense. And um, I actually forgot about this uh, that he likes to set GML, so yeah. That was a mistake, because I should have kept uh, gas for that. So I was like, I only had three GS left. I was expecting, because he said uh, cat up front, I was expecting at least one GL. Um, my guess was JMK uh, without cat. Um, so I was like, the plan was um, when I was using the, um, that, yeah, I needed to use um, bounty hunters here, like. But this is like it's not a guarantee. Thanks to that um, code on the reduced data cron. So, yeah, they go in, which is fine. Once Bam takes a turn, we cleanse uh, the debuffs, give it to Fennec because we need to protect her. Um, but I made a mistake. Um, I should have put it on uh, Bask because now we lost Bask. Um, for some reason, I don't know why I decided to go after Candy. So yeah, delete Royal Guard. Now I'll give it back to Fennec again. I 
Yep, and he killed Fennec. So, there's nothing I can do about this. Um, it's just data crowns. It is what it is. I think most of the time you just need to bring GL now these days. Um, that's what's going to work, nothing else. Um, we, we're moving into an era where um, basically skill doesn't really matter anymore. Um, it's just all about um, GLs versus GL. Um, the off meta counter is just almost dead. So I really wanted to save JML um, to the back wall. And now I mean I have to use it. I had no choice. So I mean on hindsight I might have it might have been a better idea to use this in the first place but because I'm in the top 50 or at least I was in the top 50 when this week started then um, the thing is even GML can lose against this team and the, f the, the reason because um, you kind of need Barris but Barris is also really useful um, with uh, Treya countering other teams so I mean this is 5 versus uh, 3 so this, sh this should work but that health steal on Lord Vader is still annoying so um, yeah I'm just trying to reach my ultimate I managed to get it uh, get there before I did um now you just I was just really about uh trying to get some banners back. Put down an armor shred. And we still haven't reached our ultimate. It took me one and a half minute, which is it's crazy. That cooldown reduced um, data crown is just, is just mad. I mean, it's such an o o overpower a data crown. And just keep using, using his AOE back to back to back to back. So now it's even more important to land the ability lock on him. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. So, yeah, 37 banner is not great. Um, yeah, I had no gas for offense so um, I had to use um, C because GG can work but it's not clean so most of the time you need to preload the team and if I preload I already lost because uh, he only dropped one battle on ground and even though he dropped one against my executor you lose more banners on uh, ground than you do on fleet sometimes you can even 3 shot the uh, a fleet and still uh, win your battles. If you, let's say if you haven't dropped anything on ground and your opponent dropped two. So this is like an easy counter, there's nothing special about this, um, you just, you know, go in, link them, and then 
one by one you just need to take them out I realized that I should be going after Paris um, because I link Jolie so there is no point killing Jolie breaking the link yeah and that's it well, it was only 65 as well so now um, Padme with Bad Batch against Aiden because this is the anti Wampa team like they have so much defense um, offense sorry so I actually tried to use Wampa against, uh, against this comp and I lost it's because of range and uh, Stark you just you know, the defense penetration and all the extra damage is just way too much to handle um, yeah this is just you know it's all about controlling the battle As long as you can keep Aiden stunned, you are good. just now it's just all about wrapping up the battle trying to get at least some protection back which I did for bad batch um, okay so this team um, this is such an overpowered team like I was like okay let's try to use Qui-Gon and they actually killed Qui-Gon first so I was like okay let's go for it nothing barely a scratch like nothing like it's just ridiculous the amount of damage this and survivability uh, this team has like I was like fine let's use a slicker with leftover uh, troopers uh, first order um, members because I wanted to keep the Hux lead um, first order Thai Omicron team intact at this point I was again I was expecting a GL at the back so I knew I knew that the, if there is a GL then I can I, I just couldn't focus there but I wasn't expecting this like, this is just a massacre massacre even for a slicker um, so basically if you go heavy on defense you're screwed if you go light on defense, you're screwed as well. So, um, take your pick, which, which one you want to do. So I was like, okay, I was like, at this point I was really mad um, on stream, on Twitch when I was streaming. By the way, there is a link in the description for my Twitch channel and also for my Discord if you guys uh, want to be uh, there on uh, Twitch when I'm recording uh, my video. Um, there's a lot more there is no filter there um, obviously because this is YouTube I need to be more reserved um, but yeah I mean you probably need a GL to be fair against this team At least I was try starting to make some progress, but I mean, 
the damage the damage is just insane i cannot even call them as assist because everybody's dazed so finally vendo's gone i was like okay who I, who to kill next i was like maybe cat no because she has guard so there is no point i have no idea why i'm going after her as i said it i was like i was really angry um at this point so clearly i wasn't thinking straight um Finally, I realized that I need to go after Chewy. Okay, finally, Chewy is gone. And now Cat's big hit was up, so without tank, like, we have no chance. Like, at all. They just have way too much damage. So that's my third team, by the way. So I throw Qui-Gon Jinn, Slicker, and Omicron Tai with Huxley then Red. So, um, yep, that's three down. I suppose it's it's a good video for you guys. Um, just to beware of this team. I know it was around last season, last 5v5 season. Um, but now with the Datacron, it's just a whole different team. Um, ball game so i was like okay cool uh, at, at this point i was l only wa wanted to d uh, do it for pride like to make sure that i was right um that he did set at least one gl at the back because that way i was like okay fine at least i was right about it so <laughs> yeah, there it is. Ray and even Gas as well, of course, with the stun data crown. And then BAM. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's not worry about um, the south because there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just try to open ships um, to get some practice on, uh, on fleet. So, yeah. No idea why the video is lagging. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, this is an easy fight, so sorry about the quality, I have no idea what happened. It was really hot when I was uh, editing the video, it might have to do something with that, but yeah. So I then won, um, was like... Let's use, try to use um, Treya against this uh, level 9 Datacron, uh, level 9 second sister Datacron um, Inquisitor team. Because I wanted to test it for, uh, for the future. And also keep in mind I have a Relic 9 uh, set. Because that's going to be important for later on. So yeah, they just keep going and going. Because basically every time they stun, second sister takes an extra turn. So you're not going to move a lot against this team. Somehow Barris is still alive. Barely. And she managed to heal up the team. Like without Barris we would be dead by now. <laughs> like there is no question about that. So finally I was able to kill GI. Mm. 
and now fifth brother is dead as well so it's not just all about killing second sister and then because th this team has like no chance like nothing whatsoever to burn through nine sisters uh, health um, basically I just need to put it on auto after that but even night sister is um, s um, was it second sister is proving to be a challenge like we are barely doing any damage to her so one more turn it's basically it's Nihilus if Nihilus would have died here then it would have been game over And now, yep, second sister is finally dead. Now we just put it on auto because it's just going to be a long battle. As I mentioned it earlier, yeah, I just need to wait for Nihilus's Annihilate. So yeah, overall this data counts is just, <laughs> it, 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 re it really is, it's just a cash grab for CG. Uh, as I mentioned it in my previous video, like, a skill is, is not a thing anymore. Um, like, GAC used to be one of my favorite uh, game modes. Um, if not the favorite, um, but now it's just, I honestly don't know how to feel about it. Um, something's definitely changed inside me um, during the past couple of weeks. And I really don't like this feeling because um, I never felt this about uh, the game before. So um, yeah. I guess I'm going to make a video about it later on or something. Um, but I don't really feel like making videos anymore, to be honest. Um, yeah, so, yeah. CLS is an easy counter against Mon Mothma. And now, I just, I just use... Um, JKR because I wanted to overkill it as I said it I'm not going to care about the south wall um, I just want to practice um, the fleet just for the future because this is a loss already like I mean I have nothing left for Ray even if I did I mean I can still lose but yeah Like I remember back in a few months ago, like something, or even a few weeks ago, you you would be able to like the the way I set my defense, I could have easily beaten this his defense. Um, but now with the data crowns, you have no chance. So I need to really need rethink my uh, playing style. It's kind of annoying because I have a, a way to play this game. Um, and I, I don't really I don't really know that if I'd like to change it anyway um, so yeah he said Tarkin, Executor and Redis this is with uh, IG so I need to use um, Rubbles here you need to take out um, IG first so just big all basic and then mass assist so once IG is gone you have a chance to win Mix is hanging on I 
was trying to save him, but... Most of the time he's, he, he's dead already. So I needed the second tank to apply the shield disruption. Which I managed to land. Yeah, get rid of that, all that stuff. Okay, Boba's gone. Wanted to get the defense penetration. assist so RC is dead as well which is great I needed more defense penetration all in on all the dodges look at that three four dodges <laughs> five great ships ships are great you gotta love them you can be clean as you want like getting 67 68 on ground if you will use once on ships you can still lose the entire match so yeah um that was a 72 which is great Oh, of course, when you uh, don't need the, the win, you get it. But when you need it, you never get it. So, yeah. Um, it was like, yeah, basic on Bomber, because Bomber needs to die. Also, I made a mistake, by the way. As I mentioned it earlier, I was really annoyed. Uh, I just wanted to finish the stream as, a, as fast as possible. So, um, I should have brought in uh, snips instead of fives. So, Anakin has the buff immunity. They already killed him once. I probably should have gi give the... Uh, the taunt to Y Wing, but I was like, second sister going to ignore the taunt anyway, so might as get, well get some turn meter. So now Plo's gone. I mean, this is just a strong fleet. You just cannot deny it. I mean, even without Tarkin. Uh, let's remove the foresight and then go back to Ty. Okay, Ty is dead. And of course, Tarkin killed Snips, my only damage dealer. And second sister is just dealing some crazy damage. And it's a loss. As expected. Once Anakin died. Right. So. Um, who's next? Yeah. Finalizer against um, Redis. So Holdo, the thing about this, you need to kill Star, uh, put the hunted on Star Fortress because, because why not? You need to kill it anyway. I kill it first, so it was like, yeah. I was, I almost managed to kill it, 
and of course they, they get the protection and look at that look at that like they went all in they didn't even touch the other ships during the entire battle they just went all in on silencer nothing else like i was honestly laughing at this point on on stream on twitch <laughs> it's just sometimes you just need to put your hands up and say like like okay whatever There was a misplay as well because it had days. So finally, that's gone. The Star Fortress. I cannot gain turn meter, so there's no point using the second. Uh, th sorry, third. I need more firepower. So finally, pause gone. Dodge. Yep, you gotta love those dodges. Oh, Echelon's gone as well. Hmm. It's just funny to watch uh, back this video, by the way. <laughs> like all the dodges and everything. By the way, um, the video will be out today if you're watching this on Saturday, and I'm going to go live around uh, 4 p.m. UTC, European time on Twitch. Um, against the car patrol uh, play, uh, player who already four cleared me um, it's going to be a fun stream um, one because I'm going to be drunk so you don't want to miss that um, and the second thing is I'm going to show you guys um, let's just say something about, <laughs> about the game um, So yeah, I'm going to be like, no, there's nothing to talk about this by the way, it's just rather clean up, it's just, it is what it is. They should be able to handle this, worst case scenario, you lose a ship. Um, just need to call Ray in and then you should be able to finish off the shuttle mass assist and that's it so yeah um i think i killed uh hang on let me pause the video yeah i killed um i had to two shot that uh, bam team um I don't know. Yeah, I used troopers and then I had to clean it up because I timed out on nest because I had no death uh, with me and then I sent him Wampa. So that's the final score. Um, congrats to Art Commander. Um, this has nothing to do with uh, the him about me ranting and everything. Congrats to him. As I said, he's a good player. So now he managed to. We are like tie now. Um, it's 1 1. He managed to beat me fair and square. Um, I just, yeah, I just probably need to think about it. Um, I'm not not so sure about what I'm going to do um, in the future. Um, what's the plan of the channel? Because um, quite rightly so, you guys are getting me some feed, uh, a lot of feedback to me, and I appreciate it. And uh, I do realize that. Uh, my last couple of videos were really negative um, but I'm just not going to you know put it out otherwise because I'm not that kind of person that okay when I go live I'm just going to put on a, a bright face and then just pretend that everything's going to be alright no it's really not 
I'm playing this game for like uh, six, seven years now, and um, yeah, it, it it has been bad um, over the past few years, but not as bad as this. It's just I don't know. As I mentioned, it it's something has changed um, within the community, and um, definitely something inside me as well and I really don't like it because I never actually f felt about um, quitting the game um, but I don't know I, I really need to think about it um, if you guys want to catch me live uh, later today on Twitch the link will be in the, the description under this video and there will be another one another link for my uh, Discord server as well. Um, I'm sure I'm going to talk about this live on Twitch. Um, so if you guys want to have a chat, um, then yeah, you're more than welcome to join. And um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. And um, yeah, see you later on uh, Twitch.